Professor Rickenbacker. In August of 2018, I was diagnosed with stage four HPV driven anal cancer. I immediately sought out a second opinion because I knew that anal cancer is a rare cancer and I wanted to find an oncology team that deals with it frequently. I was fortunate enough to find an oncology team that deals with it on a weekly basis. They immediately put me on the platinum based chemotherapy drug cisplatin once a week for about six weeks. 96 hours of 5-FU each week for about six weeks and extended radiation. It was a tough treatment, but I was able to get through it with my oncology team, the medications they gave me, their encouragement, my family, my cheeky sense of humor, and most importantly, my faith. In February of 2019, I was declared NED. Since that time, I've made it one of my biggest goals to get out there and educate people on anal cancer. Sadly, because it's one of the cancers below the belt, people are ashamed to tell people that they have anal cancer. They're embarrassed to talk about it. Also, because it's oftentimes related to sex, people just feel embarrassed. Well, I wanna tell people, I am one of the faces of anal cancer, and there is no shame in anal cancer. Just like there's no shame in anal cancer, there is no shame in seeking mental health resources. It's a hard diagnosis, and it's so important for us to be able to talk to somebody that is a neutral party and can give us tools in our toolbox to be able to deal with that. That goes for caretakers too. One of the amazing gifts that the HPV Anal Cancer Foundation gives us is peer-to-peer -peer support. I'm one of the peer supports, and it's a wonderful, wonderful gift, not only to the people that are seeking out encouragement, but also to the peers that are helping those. It's one of the greatest gifts I've been given during this time. I hope that you'll join me in telling people your story, destigmatizing anal cancer, and just enjoying the summit. Thank you so much for listening to my story. Y'all have a wonderful week. Take care, and remember, there is no shame in anal cancer. Thanks so much.